All I tell you to do is relax. Give that thing to God. Because there are some things that I thought I wanted. There are some prayers that I asked God for some certain things that now I'm so glad that he said no to. Because my life would have been way worse off. I would just say continue to believe that God will give you better. Because whenever you give your heart, your situation, past relationships, your feelings, those insecurities, all those things to God, then he will give you what he desires for you to have, and that's his best. Absolutely. You go, baby. That's <laughs> awesome. The last reason you should continue believing in love is because love works if you work. What do I mean by that? Marriages fail, <laughs> marriages fail left and right in our culture in today's day and age. And that's because people have the wrong view of marriage uh, and the wrong view of love. We, we think that Cupid's going to come and strike us with a bow and arrow and we're just going to fall in love and the right person's going to come our way and they're going to fulfill all of our needs. They're going to do this, they're going to do that, they're going to serve me and all of this. But, but it doesn't work that way. The Lord sends you the right person that he has set out for you to have. But they're not perfect. You have to extend that forgiveness to them. You have to be patient with them as they work through their problems and you're working through your mess. Together, the Lord is covering you in His protection and, and He's allowing you guys to form a rhythm of love. Love works if you do. That means put in the work. Sacrificially love one another day in and day out. Love one another in the language that they receive love. Whether it be physical touch, acts of service, words of affirmation, gifts, or quality time. Love your spouse, love your partner in the way that they want to be loved. Once you extend grace to that person as they're learning to love you well, and they're extending you grace while, they're while you're learning to love them well, and you form this rhythm of grace and, and service, it, it turns into a lot of fun. People ask me all the time, is marriage really that hard? And I say no. It's, it's, a, it's way more fun than I ever imagined. It's not because it's a cakewalk. It's because we've formed a rhythm of serving one another. And I'm very grateful for him as well. So when you're, when you're constantly grateful for the person that God has given you, you express your appreciation, you're serving them every day. And they're trying to do the same. Love is exciting. Love is fun. Love is... Love is everything that it's cracked up to be and more. And that's exactly what marriage is. I believe in love because I was once somebody who was hurt and God saved me. He showed me how to love. He showed me how to forgive. And he brought me someone who was willing to serve me and work with me. And I was willing to serve him and work with him. We formed this rhythm and we fell madly in love. And it works like magic. It really is magical. It really is happily ever after. But it takes work. And, and, and love works if you do. So speaking of love, we love you guys. Jesus loves you as well. Thank you so much for watching our video. Feel free to like and subscribe uh, and share. And we'll see you soon.